Hey, Yashi, how are you, girl? How are you? How's the day going? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. Hi, that's okay, <laughs> Yashi, no problem. How are you doing today? So far, so good. So far, so good? I'm excited. That's, oh my God, that's amazing. How was your day? Uh, it was a crazy day today. Today really? is my day off. Oh, the day off. Oh, so that's amazing. That is, that's why it was crazy yes, day, right? Oh. And no, just when I can rest. But today I went to the east. I got uh, mm. an appointment. It was okay. really, really difficult and really hard to uh -huh. be there since 6 o'clock in the morning and to be off until 12. What? Almost six hours here it is? Wow. In, in what, yeah, you already have an appointment or what? I already had an appointment, but the yeah. problem was that the doctor was, was not available. Supposedly, I don't know what happened, so I should be uh, moved to another doctor and huh? you know what happened. You should go just to wait. Even what? you with the appointment, you should wait. Goodness. Yes, that's difficult, but anyway. But, 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 at least, but at least you, you passed with the doctor. Yes, but I didn't took. I, I'm sorry, I didn't take my break for some time. Uh, until twelve, I got a brunch. Oh my god, breakfast and lunch together. Breakfast yeah. and lunch. <laughs> Oof. Not but, really good, but anyway. But at least but you I have your it. appointment, which is good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We gotta be patient sometimes. I know that. Mm -hmm. That had happens to me a lot of times. <laughs> Well, but I'm so happy that even though you, um, well, you couldn't find a doctor or the doctor was not available, the one that you supposed to like give you like a feedback, right? Like a follow-up of your situation, but at least you could uh, yes, pass with another, yeah. doctor, another doctor, that's happened. Really to to doctor, like you know what could be, that I could really happen. Hate to go to the doctor. Really? <laughs> I'm like, yes. that happens to me as I well. I prefer to buy the medicine. Sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes we do not pass with a good doctor. That happens to me with the cardio problems. Yeah, so I had to go to the specific specialist because that doctor didn't treat me well as well. So I understand how, you, how you're feeling. Sometimes it feels frustrated, right? Uh, yeah, so you were mad as well because you were hungry. <laughs> oh my God. Well, so Joshi was telling that. I asked Joshi no, how was I was not hungry, but I was tired. Yes, of course, because you have it at six. So what time are you supposed to wake up, right? Like, woof. I know that. Yoshi was was sharing with us that it was her day off, but she has to go to the east. Couldn't pass with the doctor that's supposed to. So they got to change her a new doctor and she spent like six hours there. So like, woof, right? <laughs> yes. What? But at least she's right now here. So forget about what happened. <laughs> Don't worry, Joshi. Today you'll go have so much fun i promise that i promise that and hopefully hopefully you people have done the video right everybody's so quiet i don't know why okay we'll see that later <laughs> but thank you so much for some of you who have sent me the essay i really appreciate that as well I just a couple of you, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just double checking, right? Okay, I'm checking the exercises and we'll give you a feedback this week, okay? Regarding that, so don't worry about it because there are some keys that we will need to improve a little bit in writing, but that's okay. Don't worry, it's part of the process. Tell me guys, uh, um, how was your weekend? Uh, Erwin, how was your weekend? Pretty good, what about you? About me, I I am happy, so happy that moment. Really? Because I can because I can study English. Ah, yeah? okay. Yeah, me the, too. The the world had a power, okay? The world had a power. It's the most important in the life. The world had a power. <laughs> you just feel bad, you will feel bad. Okay? Yes, of course. Yes, it's, it's the difference. In your mind, you can you can stoop, you can uh, learn with your mind. You just feel bad. Will be bad in the future. Yeah? Don't worry, but that's why you're here to improve it's that. A, it's a quality, it's a yeah. Of the, of the, well, the learning. And you, how are you? You look different, teacher. 
Really? It might look different, guys. Yes. Yes. You change your hair. No. You is yes. You is hair. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> no. You know yes. what? Maybe I comb my hair. <laughs> no, you, you iron your hair. Not right? really. To be honest with you, not really. I already have like um. How you say that? In his, in, yeah, I know how to say it in English, but let me double check in Spanish. Ah, uh, yeah. Alisado? Alisado? Yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. So I already did that, but that was a long time ago. And I just color my hair. I think it's like a, um, like a between orange and red. This is kind of fix and fix it. Half and a half. So basically, maybe because I... I don't know, I put some cream. This is like a whole treatment, right? I bought a whole package, the shampoo, the conditioner, and there is like um, like a restorative cream that you can put for your hair so you can take care of your hair. So basically, maybe that's the reason why, because I put that, it helps us with the, leave it like more, more iron, but I, I haven't done anything. You like the color? <laughs> it's like yeah. a, Orange and red, yes. Hope maybe one day you will see me in person. When I change my the color of my hair, my mama uh, was able to to see my completely change of outfit, <laughs> and then she said, "What?" <laughs> and she said, "Like what color? Are you? I know it's your hair, but she didn't like it a lot." But my sister, my sister is like a revolutionist. <laughs> my sister is like an opposite of me. She said, "Yeah, cool, sis." Right, way to go, she said. Oh my God! So she love it, but my my hair is like a kind of brown and um and red. That's the color of my hair. Well, but thank you so much, Erwin. <laughs> I, th I think we, we I think because I took a shower today. That was the reason why, you know what? It's, it has been really hot today. I don't know where you yes, live, today, guys, yes. but oof, no oh, way. Uh, I I remember I remember it in, on on Friday. Uh huh. And the uh, hot on Friday. Yeah? Oof, Friday it was like ooh, terrible. Hopefully, it will rain today as well. Because uh, I, I love to rain. Hey, you remember, guys, that on Friday we were talking about the rain and how we love to be to rain and the rain pamper us. Remember that? That we learned that word on Friday? Hey, and on Friday, it, it, uh, I think it was raining, right? It rained on Friday? It, it, it was, right? Oh. I was really happy about it because I was remembered that we were talking about that and I was like, oh my God, we were like magicians <laughs> because yeah, it rains. So it was amazing. Hopefully today it was going to rain because I think so because today has been really hot and most of the time when it's really hot day, it rains at night, right? Well, that is what I think about. All righty. Thank you, Erwin. And what about who had, who also had a good day? today who had a good day nobody no way who had a bad day it's monday it's monday, monday. Know, remember monday. the monday Come on. it's crazy it's crazy remember, mondays are, are crazy traffic and is so terrible every monday <laughs> really so you're like garfield remember garfield doesn't like mondays <laughs> yeah you know what yes. for for me yeah, it's it. hard it's hard mondays to wake up what about you guys is it hard for you to wake up on mondays are you yes, sure yes i agree yes you agree why madeline because well for me i i arrived late to my my work because mm. there was a lot of traffic really uh, it was wow. a problem yeah mm -hmm. and it uh, didn't pass uh, many buses and for oh. that reason i i came late when i arrived late to arrive my late work. to work Oof. yeah wow yeah <laughs> i have noticed that guys 
Well, I'm, I'm not a person who takes the bus. Uh, no, 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 right? But of course I have, I have taken the bus in my life, right? I know a lot of routes and all the stuff. So, but I have noticed nowadays that the, the quantity of buses has like decreased, right? Doesn't matter what is the route, but I have noticed that. I don't know where you live, but where I live, I have a, a route 35 and a, right, and a route five. And sometimes you you have to be you know, on the on the bus stop around forty five minutes to wait for for a bus to pass. So it's really really stressful. Yeah, everybody's like, <sighs> right? All right, so we're gonna do something for you to wake up, right, guys? That's the party going on, right? Let's groove. Do you remember that song? Let's crew. Mm -hmm. You got it? Earth, wind, and fire. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. So we're gonna do something. And I want your and I need your help. Uh-huh. And everybody's like paying attention. What is the teachers going to come up with something different? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's play this one. Let's play it. Uh, uh, no, jacket is in French. Simon says it's in English. Okay, let's play Simon Says one more time. So you, everybody will be awake. Hey, William, how are you? We've got Fred is here. We have Francisco, Jervin, and we have Madeline. There you go, Kenya and Kathy. Hey, are, do you already have uh, your dinner, William? Yes, I already okay. have. Okay, very good. If not, that's okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, what is, how would you say this in English, remember? Elbow. Uh -huh. How you say this in English? Arm. The entire arm. arm. Okay. How you say this? How you say this? How you say muñeca? It's a crazy. Me, I guess something like that. What? Wrist? Yeah, that's the wrist. Okay, very good. Uh huh. How do you say uh, tobillo in English? Ooh. Ooh, I got you on that, right? I got you on that. Uh huh. How do you say that? Tobillo? Oof. Is the knee? No, the knee is rodilla. Ankle. Uh, how do you say that? Okay. Fernando, say it one more time. Anko. No. You know what you're telling that you're saying right now? Tío. Anko. Tío. Tío. Okay. Uh -huh. That's what I ask you, that Anko. guys. Anko. Uh -uh. Because uh, the you gotta be careful with the pronunciation. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. We I put you on the chat right now. The first one is um Tovillo, and the second one is Tío, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Oops, I need to drive the water. Okay, that's okay. So the pronunciation is different and you gotta be careful with that. So in this case, we're going to use the facial model or muscles and don't worry if you look funny, okay? That's part of the process. Okay, so, tío, uncle, look at my mouth, uncle. You see? Repeat after me. Uncle. 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 Okay, I don't hear you guys. Uncle. Uncle. Uh, uncle. 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 Now uncle. let's practice how you pronounce tobillo. Ankle. No, look at my mouth. Ankle. 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 Look at that. Ankle. 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 I, I, Ankle. I do not open my Ankle. mouth. Ankle. 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 Like, oh, got this smile. Ankle. <laughs> yeah, okay, Kathy, say it. Okay, smile and then say ankle. 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 <laughs> yeah, you're good. You see, ankle. Go, got the smile. You see, ankle, uncle. You see? Uncle, ankle. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's do it fast, guys. Let's pra let's practice and let's play. If 
si tienen dolor de muela después, it's not my problem. Sorry for that. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it together. Uncle. 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 Okay, I want everybody your, your microphone off. Todo el mundo los microphones abiertos. Microphone off. And I want to see you guys. I want to see your face. Your beautiful face that you're handsome and, and lovely ones. I have Francisco, Madeline, Jervin, Glendy, you see, Jervin. Fridays, I want to see your face. Come on. Erwin, please turn turn off your uh, your microphone. Turn on. Okay, very good. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. wait a minute. I need to see Freddy. Don't worry if you're a completely disaster. That's okay. It's 8 8 p.m. Okay, guys. So repeat after me. Uncle. 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 Ankle, 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 Oh my god, we're completely disaster. You said. <laughs> but you see how it's important to pronounce it correctly? Because you yeah. were saying totally different thing. And I know, and I know, you know what happened? That this kind of words that we write it in a different way, but the pronunciation is kind of similar. So that's what we need to be very careful. Maybe, so right now we feel like goofy, right? Like, uh, 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 but don't worry about that. That's part of the process. Uh, you, you need the facial muscles to get used to the pronunciation. And when it's used to it, it will be like easy. Uncle, ankle, you see? Uncle, ankle. Exactly, uncle, tío, ankle. Tobillo. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, so let's practice. I will say the word in Spanish and you gotta pronounce it in English. Got it? Okay, cool. Glendy, uh -huh. tobillo. Ankle. ¿Cómo fue? Ankle. Very good, excellent. <laughs> I love Fred. Fred is like, I'm going to warm her up by checks before. <laughs> All righty, William, tío. Tio. Uncle. What? Uncle. Uncle, very good, very good. Freddy's, Tobillo. Ankle. Very good. Joshi, Tobillo y Tio. Uh, ankle, uncle. Very good. Erwin, um, Tio and Tio. Uncle. Oh, oh. Very uncle, 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 very good. Uh, Fernando, Tobio, Tobio. Ankle, ankle. Very good. Josue. Eh, I used to bust on the baby. Chivo. <laughs> tobio, tío, tío, Tobio. Oh my God. Damn teacher. <laughs> no, that's worse. Ankle, 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 ankle. No. Tobio, tío, tío, Tobio. Ankle, 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 ankle. Ankle, ankle, está bien, pero la otra. Tobillo, tío, ankle, tío, ankle. tobillo. Ah, oh, very good. That's the one. Woohoo! Give it all five. Sorry, that's amazing. Good job. <laughs> eh, Kat Kenia. <laughs> tobillo, 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 tío. Ankle, 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 ankle. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. She rocks today. <laughs> Telmita. Tío, hello. hello. Tío, 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 tobillo. Uncle. Uncle, <laughs> uncle, 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 ankle. Yeah, that's my girl. Excellent job, Telmita. Very good. Doris. Tobillo, 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 tobillo. Ankle, 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 ankle. You're missing one. Ankle. Yay, very good. 
good. And Katy, Katy, okay, Katy. Um, Tobio, 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 Tio, Tio. Uncle, 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 uncle. Yeah, very good job. Fern ah, Fernando, you already asked you, right? Yes. Ah, okay. But don't worry, let's do it one more time. <laughs> tío, 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 tobillo, tobillo, tobillo. Tío, tío, tío. Tobillo, tobillo, tobillo. Yes. Uncle, 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 uncle. Very good. He's like, yeah, very good. So you see, you like it. Are you awake already? Yeah, right. <laughs> very good. Job. I told you, you're not going to sleep with me. No way. You cannot sleep with me, not even Mondays. <laughs> very good. Good job, Jarvin. Hello, Jarvin. Hopefully, Jarvin is awake. Hey, now is your turn. You want to do okay. it? Okay, cool. Okay. Tío, 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 tío. Tobio, 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 tobio. Anko, 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 anko. You're missing one? Echo, 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 echo. Echo, come on. Anko. Anko. Do it one more time. Anko, 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 anko. Do it. Anko, echo, echo, anko. Very good. Not too bad, right? Well, very good. Good job, Jarvin. Excellent. All right. Would you like to learn a tongue twister today, guys? Yeah? Tongue twister? All right. Yeah. Have you ever heard about the tango twister Peter Piper? No? Not really. Not really? Well, I have a tango twister from A to Z. I gotta let you know that. But let's do it with P. Okay, Peter, P. This is a long one. Listen carefully. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers that Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where are the peck of pickled peppers that Peter Piper picked? What? <laughs> Don't worry. This is what I'm gonna do. I will, at the end of the class, I will send it to you, right? So you can practice. I will send it to you like, um, like a song, all right? So that will be easy. You like that? Okay, okay. cool, okay. very good. And after that, we're going to practice the Peter Piper one, okay? <laughs> that will help, so, uh, you know what? The tongue twister helps a lot to speed up when we're speaking. So that's, that's one, that is, is, we have it fun, but at the same time, it helps us with the pronunciation. Okay, guys, so, uh, do you remember what we saw last class? Who can help me? Hey, Madeline, good night, girl. Who can help me? Who remembers? Don't tell me that you do not remember. Uh-huh. What we saw last class? Anybody? No? Oh my God, no way. Hopefully you're awake. Of course, no, not the whole idea, but at least some information. Do you remember that? What skills did we um, develop? We uh, practice listening. Mm -hmm. uh, Reading. Very good. Okay, exactly. I gave you like more um, vocabulary, right? To hopefully work on your beauty. Okay. Hopefully you improve it on that. Okay. Don't worry about that. Okay, cool. Now, guys, we're going to continue with something different. Hey, guys, by the way, um, for all the information that we have seen last week, you are able to do the entire unit one. Okay. So please guys, I hope you like continue working on that because some of you have done a really good job. I check every day your process, every single day, how you are. Some of you already completed, congratulations. Some of you are in the middle. Some of you have 32, 40 points. Some of you have done anything. So please, I want you guys to like try to do your best. If you still have any questions, I'm here. I'm here to help you. Don't worry about that, okay? I know that it's really hard to have like a declaration of job and responsibilities and you're tired, mentally tired most of the time, but let's do your best, okay? Okay, but I'm so happy that some of you have finished and some of you are continuing working, which is really good. Any questions, I'm here to help you. Okay, guys, so with that, with that saying, I just wanna ask you something. We're working, at, we're talking about environment situation, right? Work environment situation. Um, 
let me ask you something. I just want to op your opinion about the situation. Uh, do you think that in the workplace, everything it, like rose color? Nobody get angry. There is no conflict. No. So most of the time in the work environment, as you will agree, uh, there are conflicts, right? But do you think the conflict is a normal part of any social or organizational setting? Is part of any social or organizational setting conflicts? What do you think? I want your opinion about that. Uh-huh. I know everybody wants to participate. I understand that perfectly, but I just need only one person, only one person. Hold your horses, hold your horses. Uh-huh. Yoshi, what do you think? Can you repeat the question? Uh -huh, I knew oh, it. I was like, what? <laughs> Don't worry. No, I was yeah. asking you guys if you consider that conflict is a normal part of any social and organizational setting. Probably. Probably? Why you say that? What's a possibility? Um, let me see. Yeah, you can think. All right, we'll, yeah, we'll give you time. Don't worry. Uh, what about uh, somebody else? Did you understand my question or no? Not really, right? Also. Okay. In Spanish, ustedes consideran que los conflictos son parte normal de cualquier organización social o de, o de trabajo? ¿Creen que siempre, siempre debe de haber conflicto? ¿Es parte de o no necesariamente? What do you think? ¿Qué piensan? For, for me, yes, a, Erwin. Uh, the, 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 the conflict in the, in the company, in the enterprise, uh -huh. right? with, the, with, the, with the staff, yeah? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Do you think it's normal? I, uh, I think uh, the, the leader, the manager, uh -huh. mm -hmm. can find all the company, all the staff work like a like team, okay? mm -hmm. like team. Exactly. Like team. And the communication is so important. And all the start have a one goal, one goal, no one goal, and all person that work in that company need the money for mm -hmm. the family, mm -hmm. and you have it, and the, the manager have to remember that the money is so important not for a person for the family, uh -huh. okay? and if you have a, a problem you can you can have the one goal, all the person one goal to the family. You can we have a good personal, good staff in that enterprise. Mm -hmm. But if you have a bad communication, if you have a bad manager, you didn't a call, you don't call with the with the staff, you mm -hmm. don't you don't express that the necessity of the money that you have in the company and the personal will have remember all the time the most important the company, the money, not to get friends, only the money. Okay. Okay. This is the, for, for my opinion. Yes, of course. And it's a valid opinion. But tell me something. Erwin has expressed his point of view. And thank you, Erwin, for doing that. But guys, do you think that in all enterprise, in your workplace, there will always be conflict? And do you think that is going to be normal? That could be conflict? Because, of course, we're a human being, right? Not all of us has the same, like, no, we're not happy every day. We do have our own problems, right? Family problems, economic problems, health problems, etc. So do you think that conflict is part of the organizational environment? Miss, I think that uh, in our company, uh, we are different type of or, or kind of people. Uh -huh. And I think that the, we have different kind of uh, um, ideas mm -hmm. and emotions, or we have different problems in our house. And I think that maybe that can uh, be a problem in our uh, environment in the, in the work, I think. Yeah, you're right. 
especially what do you think guys it is which which is easiest work with a guys or work with a boys have a supervisor a girl supervisor or a man supervisor uh-huh it's That's easier true. having a girl supervisor a girl supervisor <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Imagine that we are just girls and a supervisor is a girl. Sometimes it's a cold. Mm, it depends, teacher. Some depends, right? Uh -huh. We actually did it a little better. In uh -huh. my, talking about my experience, and when I was new at the call center in industry, I got a supervisor. Oh, that man, believe me, he got an issue because we know it. Uh, mm -hmm. they he got some mental health and mm. who do you say um that word and that uh, you change your your feeling frequently maybe ah, your behavior you were happy uh -huh. yeah. and then bipolar mad. Yeah. yes i remember that when we got uh some wow. back service from the customer mm -hmm. they like me he was mentioned come on and he he wow. put it in the in the desk they like me so he yes, couldn't control uh, himself. That was Oof. an issue. Yes, it is. Control. Uh, we talk about this with the another supervisor, the management department, because it was really, really hard to work in that environment. Yes, uh, of but course. Case, uh, I got many managers, girls and boys. And believe me, I guess that it depends on the person uh -huh. and the, their behavior. Very good, they yes. They are good at all, but it depends on the person. You're right about Remember, that. Remember. It's not just knowledge. The, a manager is not just knowledge. It's also behavior, uh, the way he tracks others. Yes. He treats others. Yes, you're right about that. And also what you're saying with what Erwin said and what also Madeline said is true because sometimes it's difficult. To, uh, it's a challenge, we can say that, right? To like, okay, from here to here, I'm going. I'm going to be in the work, and I'm going to be the manager. I'm going to be an employee, whatever. I I know I have problems. I have family problems, health problems, whatever. But it's sometimes there are people who cannot handle, who cannot handle their feelings, their behavior, and they cannot like put aside family issues or personal issues with work environment. All right, so it's difficult. It's difficult, and that's why it causes what the situation that Josh Lee said. And like Madeline said as well, very good. So now let me ask you, what happens if conflict is left unresolved at work? What happened? Or what, what might happen? There is a conflict, there is a problem, but we do not resolve it. What, what could happen? Well, I suggest keep it calm. Mm -hmm. And I and get the the ideas of the manager, every manager, and make a, a list. Mm -hmm. What is the priority? Priority. Priority. Okay. Yeah, and and um, is uh, is is important. Mm -hmm. A good communication between between partners is is the best option. Exactly, exactly. Communication is one of the keys, right? One of the main keys, as Erwin said as well. Yes, guys, have you faced a situation like that in your workplace? You work from different uh, companies, right? And some of you has their own business, like Freddy's, for example. And I think, uh, yeah, that you already have your own business. So, may well, I, I have ask my you, own business. You, you don't have your own business? No. Uh, you work for a company? Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I thought you said it because of the plumber. Yeah, I'm a plumber, but... I'm ah, you, a... you're a part of the company. Ah, okay, okay. I, I misunderstood, but that's okay. And you I see? do uh, personal work, too. Ah, Ah, so you see, I was half okay and half not. 50-50. <laughs> all righty. But even though, guys, eh, all of you, doesn't matter in the work environment that you have, IT, call center, operations, marketing, management, etc. You, all of you have faith in some point, a conflict, right? 
like for example, like what uh, Joshi was explaining to us, how you resolved that problem. Can anybody share any experience besides what Joshi said? Anybody? Judy, Fernando, have you faced when a conflict in your job? Don't say names, don't worry. I just need the end scenario, so that's okay. Uh, well, in my case, uh, I prefer to talk with the person that I am in conflict with. Uh -huh. And did you solve the problem? Uh, usually, yes. Uh, the, the most important thing is for, for me, for example, maybe mm -hmm. we have conflicts and we said, uh, yes, we have we, we have conflict, but we have to, to reach a goal or we have to, to, to finish that. So mm -hmm. maybe first, we have to, to finish the, the, the homework or the, the work that mm -hmm. I, I am doing, we are doing, and after we can discuss what was the problem and how to fix it. Very good. So tell me something. What could have happened if you have not resolved the conflict? Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe the, the boss uh, could inter, inter, interview. How do you say intervene? Intervene. Yes, maybe the, the boss uh, could intervene in, in the conflict and maybe uh, they, uh, he complains us to, 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 to fix our things, to uh -huh. whatever that what, what. what the issue was. Uh -huh. yes. So guys, I, I think everybody is agreed that if there is a conflict, it has to be resolved, yes or not? Yes, uh, definitely, right? I didn't, uh, and uh, we have to. Well, it, it, it's my opinion, but oh, we have of course. To, Go ahead. to separate your your uh, your laboral behavior with your personal behavior because uh -huh. maybe that that is uh, sometimes if you do personal something uh, is uh -huh. in, in your in your job is a problem, a yeah, mm. big problem because. Uh, there, there are some things different. Mm -hmm. You're right about that. And that is what Madeline said. And that was the perfect example is what Joshi gave us. The example of what Joshi said. Exactly. So you're right about that. Guys, I just want to share it right now with you. A basically a dialogue that we're going to practice. And then we're going to um, come up with one of our own. But basically, I just want to share right now an information that is going to help us basically to pay attention to the conflict and its features and the possible solution to it. So I'm going, just going to share right now with you. This is basically about Hugo and Zali. That is what it is. And I just want, sorry, uh, two victims, sorry, two participants, if you don't mind, so they can help me right now with that. Who wants to uh, help me with this? Anybody? I just want two volunteers and that's all. Now, okay, should I choose it critically? Me. <laughs> Who? Who's that me? William. William, oh my God. Thank you so much, Will. You're so amazing. And I'm gonna be Sally, who wanna be Sally? Yoshi, you wanna be Sally? Okay, next time. Uh, no, but yes. <laughs> All right, girl, okay. that's the spirit. That's the spirit that I need. All right, so let's double check. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me share right now my screen. There you go. And you always liked for me to put like a bigger, right? A big presentation. All right, let's see. Let me one moment. Is it still charging? Oh, there you go. Can you see it, guys? Is it clear? Yeah? Is it okay? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. No yet? Okay. Let me know when you when you're able to see it, Joshi. Uh, I already see it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All righty. So trying to resolve a conflict at work as an hour number one. Action will go ahead. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can understand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. What are you always? 
Talking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. Just, just do it. Yes, you just did it. You just did it. Cool. Would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Hugo. Who is Hugo? Hugo is William Hugo? as well. Okay, but it's Richard too. I know, uh, okay. don't worry. Okay, well, well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. Continue, William. And Sally, what do you appreciate about, about Hugo? It did a great job increasing sales by a 15% this month with his bond business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Aha. Uh -huh. Guys, thank you so much. I just asked William and Yoshi to read it for us because I just want uh, your opinion. Guys, this is a scenario that, that this coworkers has read right now. Have you, have you faced this situation in your work environment? This has happened to you? That you criticize each other? This had happened to you before or not really? Telma, maybe you were work with management. So that, that had happened? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what, guys? Human beings, which is, um, let me double check. How can I ask you that question? Uh -huh. Which is easiest for human beings to see the positive things or the negative thing of a person? Negative. The negative, of okay. course, Freddie. Yeah. Is yes, you know what? If if I ask you, for example, Freddie, tell me one negative thing about your wife, and you start saying this and this and this and this and this and this, right? And it's like it's like this and this, and, this. and then you're asking for the toes and the finger of your of your of Joshi because you're still counting, right? But when I ask you, can you please let me know which qualities she had that make you fell in love with her? Now is you're like a stop and it takes you time to think, right? And then you start mentioning this and this. And this. That the positive things did not come up as easier and faster as the negative things. So the same thing happens in the environment, okay? In the work environment. So this is like an example of what could problem happens and how we can resolve it. So now I need three more volunteers and then we're going to work it out on the pronunciation and on the, um, the meaning of the words. But who can help me? Okay, I just need Josue, you're gonna be Hugo. Uh, Freddie, you're going to be Richard. And- um, Okay, I was falling asleep. <laughs> that's why I ask you, that's why you turn it on your camera, right? Uh -huh. Okay, no way, no way with me, no way Jose. Alrighty. Okay, so that's why I ask. I don't know why, but my teacher's instinct said you better ask Freddie about that. Okay. Yeah, you know, I was like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. I know, and I don't want you to. Uh, so that's why. Okay, in Kenya, you would like to be Sally? Yes. I said, I don't have any yeah. choice. <laughs> All right, there you go. And well, am I? no, Freddie, neither are you. All right. <laughs> no. Okay, let's share right now the screen with you. Okay, cool. Uh, Ugo is going to be. What's going to be Ugo? <gasps> What's going to be Ugo? I didn't mention, right? Yeah, yeah, the other guy that you mentioned. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aha, yes. Know. Josue. Josue is going to be Ugo. Sally, of course, Kenya. And Mr. Freddy's is going to be Richard. Okay, go ahead. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can stand how 
she allows her to coordinate this to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in the meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. Uh huh, Sally. Kenya. Sally. You. You just did it. Hugo, would you? No, 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 wait a minute. Okay, he took it really personally. Okay, go ahead. He got so excited about sorry, it. Sorry. About the role play, yeah. Hugo, will you please tell me what <laughs> you remind about Sally? <laughs> <laughs> please be serious. This is a serious conflict. <laughs> well, well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department unless work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by a 15% this month with his business approach. Teacher, can you help me out with the last line? I can't see it. Ah, yes. Uh, you said it, to help the company continue to grow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know you. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we we wouldn't have had such a growth as less growth last year. From now on, remember what you what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Very good. Excellent. That was a really. Uh, I I can say serious, but at the same time, a polite, respect, and environment way to handle things. Congratulations. Very good. I know that some of you were sleeping, right? I don't want to mention names, mm -hmm. but very good. And you know what? Josue, I like when you express yourself, I like that you use a lot of your face expressions. What the, because when, for example, uh, Sally is asking you, what are you talking about? Uh -huh. Well, you're always attacking me in meetings. You're like, what are you talking about? I don't do that. You see? And you, and you show that in your face. So that helps a lot when you like change your tone of voice. Very good. Excellent. Guys, may I ask you, let me uh, help you right now with the pronunciation of some words, okay? Because we would need to like basically improve a little bit, but just as a little bit, nothing else. So let me just help you right now and let me move this. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. This one. Allows. Okay, I want to hear you. Allows. Allow. Allows. Very Allows. good. Allow. Subordinates. 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 Whatever or whatever. 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 That's nice, right? <laughs> very good. Very good. Uh, okay. Extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. 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 Very good. Delay. 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 Very good. Contribute. 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 Growth. 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 Very good. Growth. I, wa I want you guys to pronounce this one really quickly. We wouldn't have had it in such growth last year. Repeat, please. We wouldn't have we had that. We wouldn't have had that such we, growth. We wouldn't have had such growth. Last year. Very good. Last year. Admire. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent job. May I ask you guys, is there some words here that you do not know what doesn't mean? Oh, for example, I'm missing this one. Pair me up. Pair me up. Can you please repeat it for me? Pair me up. Pair me up. Pair me up. Okay. For these words that we have underlined, do you know the meaning of all of them? No? 
Okay, so it's whatever. What is whatever? Or whatever. Whatever. Okay, say so yeah. uh -huh. okay, so yeah. Exactly. Subordinates. Hmm. Subordinados. Subordinados, exactly. Allows. Permitir. Mm -hmm. Permitir. Permitir or permite. Permi up. Permi up. Mm -hmm. But if possible, please permi up with another of the managers. What is the meaning of permi up? This is a phrasal verb. Very good. Emparejar. Very good. Exactly. Exactly. Admire. Admira. Extremely. Accurate. Accurate. Preciso. Exactly. Very good. Contribute. Contribuyo. Very good. Excellent. Guys, we're going to do something right now. Eso sería como un challenge entre ustedes. I'm going to send right now this dialogue right now. And I want you guys to practice in trios. And I'm going to evaluate not only that you are reading, because I don't want you to read. That's easy peasy queasy, right? I just want you guys to try to imagine that that has happened to you in your workplace. So I just want you to take it or to get into the role place, try to put it intonation, emphasize, and try to live that moment. I'm going to um, basically qualify all of that, pronunciation, pronunciation, and question intonation as well. Remember that just no question, the intonation goes up, but the WH question, the intonation goes down. Okay, got it? Okay, cool. Everybody say. Like, I will give you five minutes to do that. No more than that. That is easy peasy queasy. There you go. So just tell me as long as you receive it, please. I just want you to let me know once you have it. So just bear with me for a couple of minutes and you're almost done right now. There you go. I sent it to you already. Let me know when you receive it, please. You did? Cool. No. No? No. Oh my God, no. I just sent it to you right now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, nee, 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 nee. It's taking forever right now. And I just sent it. Even the computer doesn't want to cooperate on Monday. That's not possible. <laughs> yeah, William, yeah. Uh-uh. Laura help me. Okay. Okay. It's the same that Laura sent. So don't worry about that. That's okay. Thank you, Larita. Did you receive Laura's information? You're welcome. Yeah. yeah, okay. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, cool. Yes. I don't know why this one doesn't want to cooperate. Maybe it's like slowly down. Okay, that's cool. So you will receive uh, two things in a couple of minutes. But in the meantime, guys, work with what Laura said, because that is exactly what it is. And I'm going to share right now. There will be three O's. So let me double check who's going to be. Would you like to work with somebody or not really? I just decide which one. Okay. We are 15. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Uh, okay, good. All right, so let's see. First one is going to be Glenda, Kenya, and Joshi. Then I have, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. So let me just create it again. There you go. Let's see. Uh huh. Then I have Judy, Kathy, and Madeline. Then I have Doris, Kenny, and Weller, Fernando, Telmita, Erwin, and Linglanda, Francisco, and Melda. All right, let's see if I can do it one more time. Let's see. There you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Accept the invitation, please, if you don't mind. 
Okay, thank you. There you go. You got five minutes to work on it. No, four minutes. That's enough. Okay, please join the conversation. Good evening. I have Joshi, Francisco, and Kenya, right? Yes, teacher. All righty. So in this case, um, Francisco, you're going to be Richard, okay? Joshi, you're going to be Sally, and Kenya, you're going to be Uk, okay? Doesn't matter. Okay. If you are put in a male practice, that's okay, not a problem. I just want you to practice, right? Try to get into the environment and the situation. Okay. All righty. Okay, I will double check the other guys. Continue doing what you're doing, okay? You're doing so fine. Okay. Let me double check right now with all the guys. <laughs> you said attack me in the meeting. Really? Attack. Attacking me. <laughs> attack me. Okay, attack Darby, me. You're, you're going to be Sally, right? I think we'll yes. Richard and Fernandez Hugo. Yes, I am. Wow, very good. Continue. And you know what? I love your tone of voice, Jarvin. <laughs> you were Thank like you. a little bit like pissed, right? Okay, that's good. <laughs> good to go. Okay, continue doing that. Let me double check the other guys. Okay. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, tell me that you're going to be Sally, Irwin is going to be Richard, and Doris, you're going to be Hugo. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, good. Continue practicing and try to like put into the roles. Okay, feel the emotion. Okay. Bye. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but but is it possible? Please pair me up with another of the managers. I can stand how she always heard. Sales by a uh, fifteen percent this month with his business approach. Oh, I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. You two have different personalities. If you both had no distributor, distributor oh. to our projects, we wouldn't have had some such growth last year. From now on, remember. Now on remember, remember that you just say about each other to help the company con continue, to grow. continue to grow. Okay. Okay, you wanna be a different person? Yes. What? Well, we, we, yes, we don't have time. Oh uh, bye. <laughs> bye. Nyaka, nyaka, nyaka. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, now we can listen reporting. yeah i do you have so much fun did you have so much fun huh trying to get into the character okay i didn't i didn't listen recording in progress you didn't listen or you did listen i you did listen okay i didn't Oh, you didn't. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. No problem. All righty. I'm missing people here. So let's wait for the rest. How was the dialogue? Was it good? Oh, you yeah, true. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Interesting. You're, not, you're not recording right now. What? You're not recording the class. Yes, I am. I show is here, here, recording. It's here. For real? Yes, of course it is. It doesn't appear. Yeah. That's why. What about now? No. It is showing here. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes, what I do not see is I don't see you. Do you see me? Yeah? No. no. No? You don't see me? No. Oops. Here's a picture. Okay. Now, what about now? Yeah. Are recording in progress. Recording in progress. You know what? I think there's a delay. 
You see, the computer doesn't want to cooperate on Monday. Even the computer know that it's Monday. Yeah, it looks I told like you, Judy. I told you, Fernando. That happens. Be sure. Yeah, you see now recording your progress, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it looks like a playback. Yeah, you see. Uh, but I told the computer, I'm going to let Fernando and Judy and then start working. You see, I told you. <laughs> yeah, when you tell the computer that you're gonna uh, give them like a push to the IT department, they will always collaborate. And that is for everything. I remember, guys, that my mother, she, she used to love plants. And my mother, sometimes she has a plant, but she puts some, like, I don't know, like vitamins and put some water every day. But the plant didn't want to cooperate. So I remember that she used to talk with the plants. And she said, if you do not a turn on me to a beautiful flower. And if you do not grow up, I'm going to cut you. <laughs> exactly. And you know what? Two wow. days after the plant is, it was blowing. Yes. So we're like, what? that happened. Yeah, that happened. Say her. Yeah. <laughs> my mother did that. <laughs> you see, it right? yes, Freddie's. That happened to one of my neighbors. It's uh -huh. a whole lady. She was um, telling me that she has a mango tree. Uh -huh. And she's like, le di tres machetazos y le dije, si no echas mangos, te vuelo. <laughs> and, and it works, right? It works. It works, yeah. yeah. I, I, don't I know did why. the same, but uh, uh -huh. at, at the end, I cut the, the tree oh. because I didn't... I didn't see any fruit. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. So in that case, it didn't work. <laughs> in my case, it didn't work. <laughs> well, but in most cases, yes. <laughs> like Freddy's example, right? <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, guys, so let's put in practice what we have done right now, okay? Let me check. Uh, 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 uh. Jervin, you know what? When I was listening to Jervin, he was like so passionate. So passionate about one saying that. So like, okay. Okay, Jervin, who you work with? I work with Fernando and William. Fernando and Mr. William. All righty. So you were Sally, right? Yeah. Fernando was who, Hugo or Francisco or Ricardo, sorry. I was Hugo. Hugo. And William, of course, Ricardo. Okay, guys. So let's listen to this passion, guys, okay? Let me double check and express your emotion and your feelings about that. Okay, all right. So solving a problem, answer number one, action, Hugo. Okay. Uh, Richard, I understand you would you like us to work together, but if it's possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in the middle? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't do that. You do it. You just do it. Yes. Hugo, um, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, uh, she... I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? Mm, he did a great job increasing sales by a 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Wow, my goodness. Great job, guys. Hey, how do you feel, guys? Can we get an applause? That's nice. Very good job. Excellent job. You make me laugh because Mr. Jarvin took his role very, very, very personal. <laughs> I don't like it that. And you too, Fernando. You know what? And also, William, I love that tone of voice because you look like you were like giving advice, you know? 
giving advice to this guy that try to work in here, like it's, it's a team, you know, take out their differences and work together. Okay, excellent, very good job. Okay, Judy, what about you, Judy? You work with who? Um, with, uh, with, let me remember. You don't remember, very good. Uh, with, the, <laughs> just with. <laughs> Who work with Judy? Help him. <laughs> the Kenya. Kenya. Uh huh. In... And Francisco. I guess. And Francisco. Yes, exactly. So Judy, you were who? You were Hugo or Ricardo? Yeah, uh, uh, Rick... Ricardo. Ricardo. Um, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I was with Jocelyn. With Jocelyn. Yeah. No. Yes, she was with me. Aha, uh -huh, you see, Yuri? He worked with me and Freddy. <laughs> okay, well, Judy, so, Madeline, and me. My Judy, first. Madeline, and you. Yes. Okay, okay. So you, Judy, were like Hugo. Fred, Freddy is Ricardo, and Madeline is Sally. Okay, here you go. Okay, okay. trying to resolve conflict, X scenario number two. Action, go ahead. I, I don't know. Uh, Richard, I guess. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Who is Hugo is the one that starts, right? So, Yuri. Oh, exactly, Mr. Okay. Yuri. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but it's possible. Please pair me up with another of the managers. I can't understand how she allowed her subordinate to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, will you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Mm -hmm. Well, she, I have to admire that, admire that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sale reportment Handling work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? Mm, he did a great job increasing sales by a uh, fifteen percent this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our project, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have such a growth last year. From now on, remember. What you just said about each other to help to what to help what's the last line to help the company continue to help the company continue to grow very good excellent job very good that was a really good job excellent guys <laughs> and one more come one more uh, <laughs> big things no one more team okay uh glendy who do you work with with Jose and Katia, creo. Josue and Katia? All right, very good. So you're going to be Sally, Glendy. Uh, yes. Katia, you're going to be Hugo. <laughs> and Josue, you look so nice playing the role of Richard. That's okay, you're gonna be Richard. Go ahead. Okay. As another number three, action, go ahead. Richard, I understand you will like us. Yeah, we we'll like to, um, let me see. I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can't understand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why did you always attack me in the meeting? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, uh, would you please tell me what you are mind about Sally? Well, Hugo? yeah, well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handled work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? 
she did a great job in creating sales by uh, 15 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities and you both have not contributed to our project. We wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow up. Very good, excellent, good job. Very good job. All righty, and last but not least, I want Tilnita, Erwin, and I think Doris, right? You work together, right? Uh-huh. Mr. Reed, yes, I, I yes. think Richard should be Erwin. Telmita should be Sally. And Doris, you should be Uko. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. All right. Yes, yes. Very good. Okay. So I'm trying to solve problem. That's another number four. Oops. Action. Go ahead, guys. Richard, I understand you would like us to go together. But if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can stand how she always her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attack me in many? What are you talking about? I don't do that. Just, you just did it. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales departments handless work without delay. Uh-huh. He did a great job in creating sales by 15% this month with his business approach. And now you two have a different personalities. Mm -hmm. you, now, you both have not contributed to our project. We really had had a search route last year. From now, and remember what you say about each other to have the company continue to allow. Very good, excellent, good job, very good job. I like, tell me what she said. Yes, you just did it. That's what she said when she approached the camera, you just did it like, arpilla. <laughs> very good, that's nice. Very good job, congratulations guys. There you go. Okay, now, that's enough talking. Very good. I know that you are tired. I know that I, I gave you like an extra effort because it's Monday. But let's work right now on the listening comprehension. I just got for you guys recently a video which is going to help us uh, like in basically like a cartoon way, we can say that or animation way to show us a conflict um, resolving problems. So how we can do that. And Guys, I, now I'm going to ask you something because now you're going to do something different, okay? I want you guys to pay attention to the whole video and as I will play it only two times, okay? Only two times, that will be enough time. And after the second time, I will let you know what are you going to do, okay? So just... Pay attention. You will be able to watch it. So don't worry about that. Let me see. I got here. There you go. Let me put it a little bit bigger. Is it much better? Can you can you see it? Yes or no? Okay, yes. cool. All yes. right. So let's play it right now. This is just three and 33 minutes. So this is really short video. What is it about conflict that makes it so difficult to deal with and how come good people can turn into such monsters in the face of conflict?
The most common way of dealing with conflict is to avoid it. Some people walk away, others get really upset, wind themselves up and attack, and others just get sick or go on stress leave. In fact, it's amazing what people will do in order to avoid conflict and the emotional stress that comes with it. There is a very clever saying that goes like this, denial is not a river in Egypt. Denial is, however, one of the most common problems when it comes to resolving conflict. When confronted with a tense or difficult conflict, too many people smooth it over, bury their head in the sand, and the conflict goes on for another one, two, or three weeks, months, or even years in some cases. I want to introduce you to a definition of conflict and then give you a pathway for the resolution of conflict. Before I do, I want to say this. For some people, even the word conflict means warfare, dead bodies and blood on the streets. And it's very common for women and men to see anything less than that as not being in conflict at all. So this is a definition that starts at a very low level because most conflict starts out as very small upsets and builds and grows into a full-scale battle. So here's the definition. Conflict exists when one person has a need of another and that need is not being met. Now don't be fooled by the simplicity of this definition. The resolution of conflict starts from here and the first step is to express the need. The second step is to find out if the need can or cannot be met. If the need can be met, then we have resolution. If it's a no, then we negotiate to resolve the conflict or we go into the management of conflict. So here's the problem. Most people go straight from having an unmet need into the management of conflict, bypassing step one and step two because they are afraid and don't talk to the people who can do something about it. And that's not pretty. In fact, it gets quite ugly. So here's what the management of conflict looks like. Sulking, withdrawing, getting sick, the silent treatment, backstabbing, gossiping, shouting, blocking, being aggressive and getting angry. So the resolution of conflict starts with expressing your unmet need and then finding out if your unmet need can or cannot be met. If your conflict has escalated to the stage where it's too tough or sensitive or difficult to handle, then you really need to think seriously about involving a neutral third party to help you mediate the dispute and we can help you out with that. For more information, please call me, Jeff Muir, on 1300 555 635 or download the Conflict Resolution Survival Guide for Business Leaders. We offer you a free confidential telephone consultation to help you work out what to do next. The cost of conflict is too high, so before it gets any worse, Call me now. All right. Tell me something about this recently video. How was it? It was. It is understandable, or it's really fast for you. Tell me the truth. It's really fast. It's really fast. Fast. Yes. Math? I know. And the vocabulary, maybe. I know. Uh huh. And the accent. And the accent, yes, the, the accent is different. Why I'm putting you this? Because, um, well, first of all, the accents, one of the accents that is difficult is the British one. And second of all, because, because be friends, what? exactly. And also because we're going to face, and we're going to listen to different people with a different country, with a different nationality, with a different speed process. Not everybody will speak like the way we would like to. So we need to like this listening skill, get used to it. I know that, I know that. But let me try to put it again, the video, and catch as much information as you can, okay? Don't get it everything, as much information as you can. And then I will let you know what you are going to do. Alrighty, let me put here. Let me put it one more time. There you go. What is it about conflict that makes it so difficult to deal with and how come good people can turn into such monsters in the face of conflict? The most common way of dealing with conflict is to avoid it. Some people walk away, others get really upset, wind themselves up and attack, and others just get sick or go on stress leave. In fact, it's amazing what people will do in order to avoid conflict and the emotional stress that comes with it. There is a very clever saying that goes like this, 
Denial is not a river in Egypt. Denial is, however, one of the most common problems when it comes to resolving conflict. When confronted with a tense or difficult conflict, too many people smooth it over, bury their head in the sand, and the conflict goes on for another one, two, or three weeks, months, or even years in some cases. I want to introduce you to a definition of conflict and then give you a pathway for the resolution of conflict. Before I do, I want to say this. For some people, even the word conflict means warfare, dead bodies and blood on the streets. And it's very common for women and men to see anything less than that as not being in conflict at all. So this is a definition that starts at a very low level because most conflict starts out as very small upsets and builds and grows into a full-scale battle. So here's the definition. Conflict exists when one person has a need of another and that need is not being met. Now don't be fooled by the simplicity of this definition. The resolution of conflict starts from here and the first step is to express the need. The second step is to find out if the need can or cannot be met. If the need can be met, then we have resolution. If it's a no, then we negotiate to resolve the conflict or we go into the management of conflict. So here's the problem. Most people go straight from having an unmet need into the management of conflict, bypassing step one and step two because they are afraid and don't talk to the people who can do something about it. And that's not pretty. In fact, it gets quite ugly. So here's what the management of conflict looks like. Sulking, withdrawing, getting sick, the silent treatment, backstabbing, gossiping, shouting, blocking, being aggressive and getting angry. So the resolution of conflict starts with expressing your unmet need and then finding out if your unmet need can or cannot be met. If your conflict has escalated to the stage where it's too tough or sensitive or difficult to handle, then you really need to think seriously about involving a neutral third party to help you mediate the dispute and we can help you out with that. For more information, please call me, Jeff Muir, on 1300 555 635 or download the conflict resolution all right. Okay, do you pay attention? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Let's let's cause a conflict. <laughs> We're going to do a I battle conflict. today. Yeah. Okay. I always I want... avoid conflict. Really, Freddy? No. Yeah. But you look so a nice boy, such a nice boy. But I do not believe you are old. I'm a nice person, it's just that um, uh -huh. in the work area, there's always conflicts. Now what my work partners is with the, uh, actually with the- With the, with the clients? Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> oh yes, of course. To satisfy customers is really, really, really difficult sometimes. Yeah. Especially because I work, where I work is similar to Anda, so uh -huh. there's a lot of conflict. I got it, yes. Now I understand why. Mm -hmm. You were the one, right? I'm not just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so you're not going to feel fall asleep anymore because hopefully you paid attention. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to be girls versus boys today. Okay, girls one side, boys one side. And each of you, I want you to come up with a question, with a question related to the video that we have seen about the conflict. Okay, resolution. And you're going to make a question. I will need five questions from each of you related to the to the um, to the video that we have seen. Okay, and then I will give you only five minutes to do that. Then we're going to come up together, and then one of the girls' member is going to lance the question, and one of the men members is going to answer, and and then so on. Okay. So on. For example, if you ask, if you ask one question and the and the one of the guys of the group can, cannot answer, the girls will give the the answer, but they are going to get one point, and then you're going to get zero. Okay. And vice versa. And then you're going to have the guys. You're going to have an opportunity to create a, a question and ask the girls about the question. If the girls answers, they're going to get second point. If they, are, if they do not answer, you're going to be the one who get the point. You got it? What is the rules about? Did you understand? Doris, Erwin, Telmita, did you understand? 
Yes or no? Uh -huh. okay. Doris, I can hear you. I want to know if Doris understood. So I said, no. <laughs> I knew it. That's what I asked you. Okay, let me explain it to you. Vamos a hacer dos grupos. Chicos versus chicas. De, de acuerdo a lo que acaban de ver, van a hacer preguntas, cinco preguntas en total, con su respuesta. Cuando vengan de regreso todos juntos, ustedes las chicas lanzan la pregunta y uno de los chicos va a tener que contestar. Si ellos no contestan, tienen cero puntos y contestan ustedes si se ganan un punto. ¿Sí? Y después vamos con los chicos. Los chicos lanzan una pregunta a ustedes. Si ustedes la contestan, bien por ustedes. Si no, mal por ustedes y ellos se ganan en punto. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Cool. All right. So let's work together. <laughs> Girls versus boys. That's what I like it. <laughs> ok. Show me girl power. Por favor, show me girl power. Ok, vamos a ver. Doris, Lindy, Katia, Kenya, Madeline, Tela, and Joshi. There you go. And this, Erwin, Fernando, Francisco, Freddy, Jeremy. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys, I'm assigned it to you. Okay, so just work together. Five minutes, no more than that. And then we come back together, okay? Please accept the invitation right now. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Uh, what is denial? Could be uh, one one question. Denial. Yes. To so not admit. Then the video said that the negation was like one of the forms to avoid. Cabal. I smell like something is I smell like something is burning. No, no, no. It's it's it's, it's one it's the most common way to to avoid the, the conflict. Yes. Exactly. Very good. So just formulate that question. Mm -hmm. Very good. You're doing a good job, guys. Let's double check the girls, okay? <laughs> uh, three more minutes and then we come back together. Is the pathway for resolution? Mm -hmm. Muy bien, Doris. Uh -huh. What is the pathway to get a resolution? Do you know the answers? It's is, is press to me. Uh -huh. Okay. We it's, have two questions now. Uh -huh. And someone can write the question. Uh, I, I write. But mm -hmm. uh, the other question uh, what uh, what oh, mm -hmm. the, there are conflict. Can you write it on the chat? Uh, Okay, we work to to uh, the last way to get a to get a resolution. Uh -huh. There is a conflict according to the video, and the other one that you are telling, can you write it on the chat? Mm. 
puede escribir en el chat. Bueno, personalmente se escucha entrecortado. ¿sí? Uh -huh. The first one, I didn't understand the question. Yo, yo soy mi. Okay. What is the fast way to get a resolution as per the video? Uh -huh. What is a conflict according to the video? Because they mentioned. Uh -huh. Okay, did you know the answer? Uh, I guess everybody. Uh -huh. Is uh, uh, Ghosting, Okay, Fridays, we're waiting for the rest. How was the spirit in Fridays? Was it good? It was good. Yes? Yeah. All righty. I think you have a lot of questions, right? Actually, actually we want to come out with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We're going to wait for the rest of your co-workers. But I'm just waiting for them. Where are they? Making up the questions. Making up the question. I already asked them to come back. They don't want to be on the class. They don't want to be at the class? Do you think so? <laughs> yeah. Come on, you're so mean, Freddy. Four of the teacher. I'm, I'm starting a conflict. <laughs> you're starting a conflict, yeah. And you said that you were a good boy, right? I am a good boy. I, I have my doubts. Only the truth. <laughs> Yeah, you see, they're coming. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, we have Jarvin, we have Joshi, we have Telmita. Well, we're missing more guys here. So I'm going to wait for the rest. All righty, there you go. I'm going to put a notepad here. All right. Let me create a new notepad. All right, good. Hi. For a moment, for a moment, there are a playback. Really? Yeah. It's really weird. Because I was just with uh, I don't, I don't listen, my partner. You couldn't listen to them. What about now? Is it better? Right now, okay, but my partner, I don't listen to your partner. It was really weird. I will yes, need to double, I will need to, yeah, I will need to double check that later on. Okay, I'm missing some of them. Very good, very good. Now you said recording in progress, right? Okay, yeah, I need to fix this something really quickly here. All righty. Okay, so uh, we, are, we are already here, right? Or oh, I'm missing somebody else here? Or no, not really? Okay, let's put girls versus boys. Okay, I'm count. I want. I'm counting a number from one to five. Give me one number, Glendy. Three. Yes, girl stars. <laughs> okay, so formulate a question, please. One of the questions that you did ask with your partners. One of the questions related to the to the video. Okay, uh, we should start right. Yes, you should start. Yes, Joshi, you have a question? Yes, we can. Okay, I need to show someone of the guys or anyone can answer. Anyone can answer. Okay, guys. Okay. My question is, as per the video, what is the best way to get a resolution? Ooh, that's a tough one. Fernando, Josue, Jarvin, Freddy's, Francisco, William, Judy. Uh -huh. um, I was, wow. uh -huh. uh, I remember that there are two two important steps to resolve to to fix resolve? to find a, a, a resolution of a conflict. Uh -huh. 
the first step is uh, express the need. Mm -hmm. And the second is find out if the need can or cannot be met. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But between uh, within, with, between the, uh, the the two steps, uh, there is there is a there are a, there is a process to do because uh, usually the first the first uh, the first step maybe doesn't appear in, in because a, a person has afraid to express their their problems. And that is because the behavior of a, a person changed in the process. Yeah. Okay, is he, is he correct? Yes, most of the part you mentioned is correct. Look, look at Yoshi, he's like, mm, yes, he's <laughs> correct. Like, anyway. yeah, we didn't get but the point. Fernando is correct. All righty, okay, so we got girls zero, Boys, one, right? Hey, come on, girls. Come on. Oh, we can know. Okay, now is your turn. Well, okay, boys, formulate a question related to the video. Anybody. It could be Fernando, Jose, William, Fre Freddy's. Uh huh. <sighs> Judy, Jarvin, I don't know. Mm. William, don't fall asleep. You formulate a question. Go ahead. Um, what is the definition of a conflict? What is the definition of a conflict? Okay, girls. I get one question. Okay, uh, based on the video, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, okay. Uh, according to the video, definition of conflict is when exists um, when one person has a need of another and that need is not really met. Ooh, is it correct, guys? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're a rock, girl. <laughs> You're a rock, baby girl. Okay. So, one and one. All right, now is your turn, boys. Bullying, teacher. What? That's bullying. That's not bullying? Yeah, you get excited when the girls gives a good answer. <laughs> of course, I'm a boy. should it be? I'm a girl. What's up, perfect? Exactly, yeah. You have to be objective. <laughs> All righty. Now, boys, it's, time, it's your time. You have to be neutral. <laughs> okay, Freddy, now it's your turn. Formulate a question. Now, uh, let Fernando, he has good questions. No way, it's your turn. Huh. He wants to play, he wants to create a conflict, but then. Uh -huh. yes. I want to continue, right? For that. Uh, nah. Go ahead. Yeah. Formulate a question, please. Any questions? As Fernando, he was he, he was actually taking notes of the questions. Ah, no, but supposedly everybody was participating, right? So that's okay. Go ahead, Freddie. Do your best. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, exactly. Just remember one of the You're making a complaint. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, of course. We won already because he doesn't want it to make a question. Oh, you see, Freddy? No, Freddy? <laughs> you, should, you should do something about it. If they don't do a okay, question, it's fine for us. Uh huh. Let, let, let him think about it, okay? Let him be. But don't take it the whole class, okay? Just. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. No idea. Ready? What Help does um, uh -huh. what does conflicts um do to you when um when you when you're not able to avoid? Uh huh. When you are able to avoid what? When you're not able to avoid the conflict. Ah, okay, okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my god, and that is tough. Okay, girls. Mm. I didn't understand exactly the question. I okay, mean, can you please repeat it if you don't mind? What does a what does a conflict does to you when you're not able to avoid? Uh -huh, that's a good one. 
Ajá, Doris, mm. Elmita, Katy, Glendy, Madeline, please. Well, I remember the beer and say that people get angry, uh -huh. get sick, and sad, and, uh, and get afraid sometimes. Gossip. Hey. Gossip. 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 That is correct. Yay, girl power. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Now it's your turn, girls. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Doris, uh, Hotel Mita, uh, no? a, a simple question. Okay, guys, listen. But what does no, mean? Don't make a simple. Como, <laughs> yeah, the simple sometimes is the hardest one. Mm -hmm. What does mean? Not really. Mm -hmm. What does what? Sorry. What does mean unmet? Unmet. What does it mean unmet? Sometimes it's not as easy. Uh, is that a fetcho? No, unmet. 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 Uh -huh. uh, necessity. It's like a necessity. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Uh, when I, when, when I need... Uh -huh. When I need, it's not unmet. Yeah, unmet. Teacher, unmet need. Unmet is a need of a person. Uh-huh. Unsatisfied. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. Is that okay, Doris? Yes, it's okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're really tight, guys. This last one defines the winner. Oh, okay, girls. Formulate a question, please. Glendy, Madeline, Kenya, Kathy, Telmita. I get one. Okay, Kathy. Um, when we see the video, uh, we saw in the, the video, video say, How mm -hmm. starts the conflict? Okay, how will start the conflict? Or how does the conflict start? Aha, uh -huh, boys. What a discussion. Oh, when uh, when uh, Umet Nit appears, maybe in your workplace or with another person. Uh -huh. Are you agree? I'm not agree <laughs> because the video don't say that. <laughs> exactly the video doesn't say that very good exactly so it was intuited right okay mm -hmm. very good so do we give them a point guys or no no Absolutely. why not yeah. they did yes. an excellent job yes mm. yeah they did okay guys Joshua said I'm leaving because I don't like these guys <laughs> okay so we had Three points for no, the boys and two points for the girls. So the boys won. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very good job. You see, That's Francis, I also got excited because of you. Not only because of the girls. Woohoo! Very we good. Are the champion. Okay, no, but sing it well. <laughs> we are the champions, my friend. Uh -huh. Like Little Chicken, remember that? Have you seen that movie? Yeah. Like, ah. that right? I was like, eh, what an intonation, man. Yeah. <laughs> Very good job. Excellent. Very good. You see, that was another way to comprehension. It's different, right? It's difficult, right? We just listen two times. We got to have as much information that we can hear in our heads and then formulate a question. Let me, may I ask you, was it easy this exercise for you? Or was not easy? It's no, in, for me it's no, it's no was easy, but it's a, uh, I, I, I hard, uh, I work hard is, 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 Possible. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. And you show it. Very good, Doris. Who else? What about you, Madeline? How do you feel about this exercise? Well, uh, for me, it was a little bit difficult also because uh, we had to uh, understand first the video and then formulate the question uh, and also retain uh, uh, the information that we saw in the video, mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, a little bit difficult. 
I but it. it was great because we uh, retain information and uh, I like. He said it was a challenge for everybody, right? It was a challenge. Not only because of the information and what Madeline said that we had to like take as much or grab as much information as we can and keep it here, right? And trying to formulate it and try to think like this way. Also, the way that they expose the information, the accent of the person who was speaking, it was difficult. I know that. Especially on Monday. Especially on Monday, just right, Freddy's. Mm -hmm. But I want you guys to get used to it. So maybe tomorrow or next week, I will search for a Chinese and in, in, in Indy. Would you like to do that? Yes. Not a Chinese, please. I don't like Chinese people. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry, but you need to get used to it. Yes, I know, because it's really hard to understand them. It's really hard to understand uh, them. For example, uh, when yes, I, I, am, I am looking for a tutorial for another uh, technology that I want to, to learn, it's very, very normal that uh, uh, Indian people is doing the, the tutorial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, yes. they, uh, they talk uh, like, uh, welcome to this tutorial. I want uh -huh. to talk about. Exactly. And you know what? They are speaking like the video. way they do with their na with their, um, nature language, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So with the speedness yeah. and everything. Yes, yeah, sure. maybe another person that uh, hair hair uh, us or accent maybe they think up the same about that about uh -huh. us. Exactly, that's true. Yes, Francis, you're about to say something, yeah. Uh, in the last module, mm -hmm. um, the, the teacher put us a video about a Hindu person. It was a Hindu person. I wasn't able to understand it that much because it was hard to listen to it because they have a different accent. Exactly. Exactly. I know that. But that's the reason why you will like, you will need to listen to them. Because when you speak English, guys, um, you're not going to speak only with American people. No. Nope. Or with a British people. You will speak with everybody that speaks English around the world. And you know what? It's it's difficult to understand face to face, right? But when you get a telephone call from them, that's even harder. Yeah, because face to face you can rip their lips. Uh huh. But if it, it's even harder because of the maybe there are like some delays on the call, maybe some there's a background noises or something like that. So it's really hard. We're going to do another type of listening activities, okay? For listening comprehension, but in a different way. The same one that we have done basically on Friday, and that will help you a lot that you can imagine. Hey guys, talking about accents, how was the video that I sent it to you? I sent it to you a video, right? On Friday, did you took time? Did you take time to watch it or to listen to it about a bad guy that it was driving a taxi? Uh huh. Not in my case, teacher. Not in your I case, Yoshi. What about you, Fernando? What right. about you, Glendy? Uh, yes, I, yeah? I remember the video was about the the black people talking. Uh huh. So how was it? Uh. <laughs> Tell that us was, the truth. Was was funny. It was funny because it was fun, right? That is that is the truth. For example, I, I like to play video games, and usually I I find I find people like that, and it's it's, it's true. I can understand uh, whatever <laughs> they are saying to me. But yes, they have their own. We can say language code sometimes. Oh, you're talking about the video about, about the brother. Uh-huh, exactly. Yes, and the grammar, maybe they, they change the grammar. Yes, they do. When... <laughs> they do. You cannot imagine how they speak. And you, you know why I put you that video? Because even in the States, guys, depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from Louisiana, you're coming from Bronx, if you're coming from Houston, Texas, if you're coming from Washington, DC, whatever, you do have an accent. 
as well. Yeah. So that's why it's really important to get used to it as well. There you go. Very good, guy. guys. Any questions? Any doubts about today's topic? No. No. Okay. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna put you the last video today, and this video is really interesting because this is help us dealing with difficult and annoying people. Difficult and annoying people. Everybody faces that kind of people in the workplaces, right? Okay, so let's do it right now. This will be the last video. Don't worry about that. Sounds like my daughter. Like your daughter? She's no, no, no. I'm talking yeah, about she's workplace. Di she's Come difficult on. and she's annoying. <laughs> oh my God. Don't be like that. Come on. Oh, Mr. Francis, it's Monday. Something's going wrong with Francis. Oh, I don't know if he had already had his dinner or what. Uh, maybe you're angry. <laughs> okay, I'm just teasing. All righty. So that would be the last video for today. And then please watch it out and then we can share our opinions about that. Rattles in a change. Hey everyone, and welcome to Rattlist. Today, we're gonna talk about dealing with difficult people. Difficult people can show up in many different forms. Some do all the talking, cutting people off and talking over others, but never actually listening. Some are lazy, messy or unreliable, and others just have to get the last word into every conversation. Difficult co-workers may constantly demean what you say and try to make you look bad while striving for power and the boss's attention. We all know these people. We are often placed in a situation where we have to deal with difficult and challenging people and having to interact with these people can lead to stress and anxiety and drastically affect your mood. If you're working with anyone long enough, you are sure to encounter some conflict as you find a difference of opinion. If you don't deal with the situation, it will most likely get worse. Difficult people can be especially tough to deal with effectively if your self-confidence and self-esteem are low. The more you build these, the easier you'll find handling the situations you might find yourself in. So let's look at a few strategies for dealing with difficult people. The most important thing is to keep your cool and not be reactive, no matter how animated the difficult person may be. By practicing self-control, you can avoid escalating the encounter and will be able to use your better judgment to diffuse the situation appropriately. If you feel your blood boiling and think you're about to burst, try taking a deep breath and counting to 10. This small amount of time can really help your emotions settle enough to stop an outburst. No matter how senior we may be in an organization or where we sit in the pecking order, we are all influenced by an emotionally driven brain the effect of this is that when we are in a conflict or perceived danger, the brain releases adrenaline and cortisol, which cause the body to be hyped for a fight or flight response. Our ability to analyze subjectively, think clearly and respond calmly are completely compromised. Another great diffusing tactic is to shift the focus back onto the difficult person. Often these people will be pointing the finger at you in an attempt to make you feel belittled and inadequate. Their entire emphasis will be to blame you and your behavior, pointing out the problem without providing any constructive solutions. This stance is purely from a position of wanting to exert control and dominance over you. If your response is defensive, you are only giving the difficult person the upper hand and letting them feel power and control over you. An effective tactic to shift the focus and equalize power in the exchange is to ask constructive questions. Keeping calm and directing the focus to what that person might consider to be an effective solution will direct your response to a proactive one rather than reactive or defensive. This strategy can really neutralize their dominance over you by redirecting the conversation and you are attempting to take the lead for part of the exchange. When you're not asking them questions in return, actively listening to the difficult person's tirade will set the scene for you to take control in the coming moments. If you zone out and appear to not be giving them your attention, they will only press harder and more aggressively while pointing fingers at you. Using good active listening will show that you fully understand what they believe is a drastic issue. And then you're in a position to take control and look for a solution. Active listening involves actually listening to their words rather than cutting them off or disagreeing mid-sentence. Nodding your head to acknowledge that you understand what they are saying. 
after they've made their point, repeat back the gist of what they said from their point. Obviously, this can come across sounding stupid, so you need to use a bit of common sense to summarise what they're getting at as you address their complaint. And again, ask questions to show that you've been listening. After applying these techniques, the difficult person will be more likely to feel that they've been heard and that it hasn't gone in one ear and out the other. That way, you're in a better position to shift the power of the conversation and put the spotlight back on them. Be extremely mindful of your body language. An interesting statistic to keep in mind here is that only 7% of communication are the words that you're actually saying. 38% is made up of your tone of voice and expression, while 55% is your body language. All righty. Okay, let's leave it like that way right now. I know what is interesting. I will send it to you for you and continue watching it. All right. Guys, to date, our topic is we get like information about uh, basically conflicts. We're going to continue with the conflicts tomorrow. But also, guys, uh, I just want you to take a look really minutely and closely to the dialogue that we practice today. Because today, without you knowing, we use one grammar part that is called first conditional. First condition, we have zero conditional, first, second, and third conditional. But we saw today, first conditional. Tomorrow, we're going to get into deep on that. So don't worry about that. We're going to do a lot of practices, a lot of activities. We're gonna work with grandma, which I know that you love. <laughs> we're going to do with, uh, writing exercises. Oof, got the, <laughs> and we're going to do a lot of speaking tomorrow, okay? I know that you are so tired. I know it's Monday, but I really appreciate it so much that you are here also to be in class. I do really appreciate it a lot. So, okay, guys, um, I think it's almost time to go. So I'm just going to, I just need to talk with Erwin today. Don't you didn't do anything bad, Erwin. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I just need to ask you a few questions. It's going to be the one on one session, okay? And just to give you like a heads up, tomorrow I will stay with Fernando, okay? So today is Erwin okay. and tomorrow is Fernando. So you already prepare yourself, okay? I give you an advance. <laughs> you should drink a cup of chamomile tea before that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Okay, guys. I, I don't like. I don't like tea. <laughs> you like tea? Oh, excuse me. A Coke or um, I don't know, soda, right? Yes, maybe. Okay, so hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night, and please, Erwin, stay with me. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. Bye, Take care. You. Have a good bye. night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs> don't worry don't get panic everything's gonna be all right don't worry about that okay swallow mm -hmm. <laughs> how you feel how you feel today I'm fine i like fine? how you people be depressed okay that's nice hey yes. tell me how do you feel about the classes do you like them do you feel that there's a topic that you need a little bit reinforced. Tell me about it. For me, it's, 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 it's correct for to be a class in the English for me. This is correct. And you are a good teacher. Thank um, you. You practice, you, you pronunciation, you pronunciation, pronunciation. I'll say pronunciation. Say pronunciation. Pronunci <laughs> yes, yes, you see, yes, you're doing your best. Yes, good. yes, yes. Uh, it's so good, so good in English. Um, uh, I I think to didn't live in Salvador. <laughs> is, it cor is it correct? Yes, I did. And no, uh, I don't. In the, <laughs> uh, in the past, you I think you you did you live in Salvador many years ago? Yes, of course. The problem is that um. I grew up listening to two, the two languages. In which, in, which, in which country? Here in El Salvador. Ah, in El Salvador. Uh-huh. Ah, interesting. interesting. Yes, it, it, it was the, uh, because of my father's type of job 
that he was related with different kind of people around the world for different countries. So that could be one of the reasons why. <laughs> yes, so that's why I'm, I'm giving classes. Basically, I'm speaking English since three years old, I think. So that's why I'm doing my best. <laughs> And you your how was your day? How was my day? It was really yeah. nice. It was really nice. Yes. It's really hot, but at the same time, it was really nice. Because yeah. you know what? Because I could uh, bought, I could bought um, a different share. Because I used to have a share that I, that I use for my job, right? Because most of the time, uh, my job hours are from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. So... Of course, without lunches and breaks, right? So I had to like be like most of the time in the one position sitting, and sometimes I have a back problems. Yeah. So so I gotta change it. And today I could do it. So hopefully I I need to like um. Well, I just recently bought it, so I need to like put every assemble everything together because if not tomorrow I won't have a share to do my job but I, in a moment I think I'm going to like assemble it and I'm going to use it I, I bought a share for my lumbar problems yeah no I know so that will but help the, me a the, lot but but the lumbar problem is like the is similar for the stress I think so yes and yes. of course the, the type of share as well yeah mm -hmm. but, but the, the seats uh, will affect the seat will affect the bell will affect yes. the lumbar the lumbar yeah as well so i bought um, i bought also a, a little pillow yeah. that you can put it uh, under your butts right <laughs> and that will yeah. help you with the lumbar position so yeah. that will help that i bought it too so yeah. hopefully that helps me a lot is i used to have a share who was my dad's share can you imagine like 30 years ago and i still yeah. have the share but um but that share the fabric the fabric was too, uh, it was type of a fabric that gives you like a lot of hot yeah. at the back. So yeah. it's it was not good for me at all. So I got to change it. Mm -hmm. And tell me something, uh, do you feel that you need like reinforce in some topics? Mm, not sure for me. It's, it's good? Uh, yes, it's correct. Uh, all your class is correct. You, you, you give the class with the, very happy and you are with the with the very with the craziness <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's it you it you found it you it you model for to give the class and for me all is correct for me all is correct and to try to for example at that time all the people we will find uh, we will find uh tired at the moment yes but i you, know yeah it's, 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 it's correct but you you try to give the the so emotion for to give the class. This is the most important for one teacher. Yeah, and I know and, it is Monday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because everyone it, is yes. like uh, I, yeah, okay, okay. But if you are if you are in, in, the, in the class, all the students will be oh tired, uh, lazy. Um the teacher can uh, in the dinner, the teachers can to give a, a pay attention, please, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you have any feedback for me? No, no. no you sure? To, yes, I'm sure. Say it or sip it for no. a <laughs> 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 just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the tone for me is correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm so Thank glad that right you. now you are doing well. If have you already finished the platform at least for the first unit? Did you finish? No, teacher. No. Okay. Just I will do it. I, I have a problem because I have a business. And ah, business. okay, got it. Yeah, but but in, in one in one day, and uh, I am so busy. Mm -hmm. The on Monday to it. Sunday, okay. Wow. On Monday to Sunday, I all the day all the day I open my 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 store. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I have my business is uh, how say I, I have five locals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I rent four locals. Oh, got it. Yeah, I have other house, and I mm. rent the house for the that other business. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I have a other house. Like I, I bought the house with the with the low price, uh -huh. and I will uh, to try to remodel mm -hmm. the house for to got have it. a to two apartment. And mm -hmm. I, will, uh, I maybe I suppose 
I will rent and I will end the, the, the Hopefully, yeah. The, yes. It's, when you have a, a business like my similar business, you have a problem because mm. you play with your money. Mm -hmm. so if one thing to help out, you will lose your money. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But, yeah, yeah, but I try to be all the time happy because but, uh, the money is so, so difficult because when the end of the day, you feel good. Oops. Exactly. I do understand, but don't problem. Yes. Try to try to do your best and try to like uh, like continue or following up yes. on the platform. And if you have any doubts or any question, you feel free to text me to the okay. WhatsApp. Perfect. Maybe I will okay. not answer immediately because I will be doing in yeah. my other job. But as soon as I have opportunity, I will help you. Okay, don't worry Thank about you, that. Thank you. All righty. So basically, okay. we're done. Yeah, it's time to go. You can have a, I don't know if you already have your dinner. If not, for well, okay, and yes, have I a know. cup of coffee. I know that you're a cup yes. of coffee like me. <laughs> I love the coffee. All righty, yeah. Erwin. Hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.